Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about looking for another job. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I have mismanaged my relationships at work. How should I answer, why are you looking for another job? Well, presumably you've mismanaged them to the point where you got fired. Uh, just assuming that right now. Uh, so the good news is that there's many ways that you can spin the, the yarn on this question and many ways you can sp like you can twist it and turn it to your favor you're, you're going to require a fair bit of uh, social skills to be able to pull it off but if you practice i think that you should be able to handle this uh, one thing that you should be a little bit uh, not, uh, you should know on the other hand is that if you mi mismanage your relationship at your current place of work or like your past job and they do a background check on you or something like that that is something that might come and bite you but you can't really control that so what i like to say is that even if you got fired from a previous job you simply have to i mean you have to continue you have to continue your, your journey and do the best that you can and just either hope that the whatever you did at your past job doesn't come back and haunt you or that the company that you're going into is going to overlook it or they might not do their due diligence and so forth it kind of depends because at the end of the day uh, i don't i it's kind it's kind of weird in a way that if you make a mistake in one company and then that's it pretty much for the rest of your career it's usually not the way it's going to work out for you i hope at the very least so to answer this question what you're trying to do and this doesn't matter it doesn't really matter whether or not you got fired or you switched position this question why are you looking for another job or why are you looking for this company or whatever it's the same sort of question regardless of why you are applying to that job and the best possible answer in my opinion is going to be you are looking for another job because you feel that the place that you are working at today you have a misalignment between in the values be in that the company has or the way that the company wants to do work now what that in essence means there's many flavors of how you can formulate that but basically what you're trying to say is that the company wants to do work in a in one way or run things in a, one specific way and you're you don't feel that that is a way that you want to do work you want to do work in a different sort of way the reason why you want to say that is because if there's just a misalignment, because it's the most disarming thing that you can possibly imagine, it's simply the case that they want to do A and you want to do B. And so since you find it difficult to believe or could align with them on doing A, you want to look for a company who does B. And here is your chance now, because the first thing that they're going to ask is, oh, okay, so, but what? where is the misalignment? Like, what, is, what specifics? Like, they want, they're want they going to want to have details. And here you now can take the stage and say that, well, this company likes to, I don't know, go really heavy on agile work practices, or they want to go really heavy on, I don't I, it can be anything, literally anything. Uh, and I just don't feel like that is something that I can work with uh, or that I don't feel comfortable in that environment I'm much more looking for and now of course you inject whatever the company that you are look you're talking to does from your perspective I'm more I don't know uh, I want to work more like this and that and then you of course try to formulate yourself in a way that they can identify because that's basically what they're looking for they're trying to they're looking for red flags. That is what they're scanning you for. They're trying to figure out, did you get? F are you looking for a new job because you can't work where you are right now, or are you going to be a problem? Are you going to cause disruptions, etc., etc.? And whatever you say has to simply be a reflection of the fact that, well, no, it's very, or rather, it just has to give an indicator to that. No, this is probably not the case. So as long as you can spin that. That is as much as you can do, basically, because as I said, if they give you a background check and they take a look at what you used to did, did at your last job, one thing that m may work in your favor, it may not, is that any reasonable company 
might, I guess, as long as you say, it, it, it might be open to, well, they're going to have some sane person ideally on their end. And if they call a company up, the, your previous employer, and your employer says something about you that isn't all that positive, depending on the person, they might actually take that with a pinch of salt. They can, of course, also, this can also, of course, kill your chances, but it kind of depends on the company that you're dealing with. So if you are, if you if you make it really hard to believe that you are an issue type of person in the interview, like this is where those soft skills really do, like they are, they are, they are the thing that is going to make the difference here for sure. Because if you come in as this very open, nice, transparent person who seems to be the best developer ever and then you have a company that you used to work with and you have been very transparent and said things like well I I don't want to like we didn't really see eye to eye or there were so there was some friction and I didn't feel like I wanted to continue that path because I want to do work in a different way if you just or if you very subtly communicate that you didn't really see the say see have the same picture of how to do work at your past company they will be sort of prepared for the possibility that your last job might have a bad opinion about you. So what I want you to take away from this is that regardless of if uh, how you got fired or why you got fired or why you're looking for another job or whatever, it's usually a very strong uh, explanation to the question, why are you looking for another job? Well, this, th that explanation to just simply try to say that we have a mis had a misalignment on how we wanted to achieve the company goals or do work or whatever. They wanted to do something like this, and I would prefer I prefer to work in this fashion. And then whatever you give as an example is going to be, hopefully, if you're smart about this, is going to be something that the company that you are interviewing for can identify with because that is exactly what they want to hear. That is literally, the th because what you've done two things by saying that. The first thing you've done is that you have avoided giving them any red flags as to that you are a problem, or as much as you can, of course. That's number one. And the number two is that you've actually complimented them, made them feel like you actually share their value system. This is a very powerful way of communicating. If they do a background check on you and you have been transparent with the fact that you and your previous employer didn't really see eye to eye on things and so forth, they are sort of prepared for that you might have some bad feedback. Ideally, of course, your employer is a, I mean, unless you literally, I don't know, left a turd on the on your CEO's desk or something like that, they will be grown-ups about the whole situation and not completely try to like annihilate your chances of getting another employment. I can't, I'm very sorry to say that that's not, not always the case, but hopefully at the very least you will survive a background check. And if that company does a background check, that doesn't necessarily mean that the next one is. So just because someone has given you a bad uh, review, uh, to or reference that doesn't mean that that's the end of the world you keep on trying and whenever you have the possibility of giving references that you can control give references to people that actually enjoyed working with you because they are going to say something nice about you if they don't ask for references and they just check things themselves you're uh, you, it's out of your hands you can just continue to the next company and hopefully they're going to be more open-minded about the whole situation have a great day